do you, outside of this essentially foundational hardening that you're doing in businesses, do you ever find that a business today, are they're very apt to adopt a lot of new stuff, but don't have the right pieces in place and are actually weakening their systems or bringing in all these tools? Do you ever have to like say, hold on, we got to do like a reset? Absolutely. I mean, the advent of AI is the biggest, the biggest villain in all of this because every end user tool being used within the organization is rolling out generative AI capabilities yeah. to appease investors. And so really the, you know, the underlying word of caution that I give to those people is, look, it might help from an efficiency standpoint in the short term, but you have to remember the context application that's going on within each of those tools. So if I stand up eight different tools within Salesforce and HubSpot and NetSuite and QuickBooks and you name it, all of those AI capabilities are living with different viewpoints of the world, a different understanding of the business. And it's only a matter of time before those differences come to a head. Mm. So instead, imagine a world where all of our data is first unified and then we're applying large language models or generative AI capabilities on top of that. So we're guaranteed to have a unified context moving forward. Doesn't mean that the system will always be correct, but it means it has the best probability of being correct and the best probability of improving with time. That's, that's your enterprise grade transformation turning on Copilot in a world where Copilot can only see 20% of your organization's documents, data, what have you, is fun and exciting, but has hard limitations that aren't going to be overcome without that fundamental work being you know, in place first. Here's what's cool about your observation strategically and also about the future. We've had to create all these tools, not we, but other people, because systems haven't been unified. There's no common theme, communication, central repository, frankly, of so much human knowledge or machine knowledge in one spot. And what you're doing is you're trying to write a ship that's like moving at a thousand miles an hour, but it's completely upside down. And when people are kind of like jumping off with their uh, life-saving vessels, you're like, why don't you come over here? Let me show you how you actually should sail a ship, right? We got to bring all these things in here. We need someone running the ropes, pulling this, down in the galley, cooking, right? And there's all these different pieces that have to come together to get it to work. So then you have the context of actually manning a vessel rather than just saying the machine is going to drive this thing forward, but it has zero context how to actually move the ship itself. It requires so much unification of a team or people or knowledge base in that instance 